This is going to be a presentation about Sankey diagrams, what they are, why they're useful, and how to make them. Sankey diagrams were named after an Irish engineer named Mr. Sankey. And this was in about 1898. He was investigating the energy efficiency of a steam engine. And this shows you the input energy to the steam engine from the fire grate. And he follows this energy as it goes through the boiler, the steam pipe, and finally is used for work. And he was interested in the comparing how much energy came in versus how much came out. And he developed this kind of diagram, the Sankey diagram, to analyze energy flows in a device. These days, Sankey diagrams are used for all sorts of things. This is a complicated diagram, an example where you, they have analyzed the entire energy usage in the United States. Here's a simpler diagram where they're simply comparing the energy going into a gasoline internal combustion engine versus the energy that comes out. And we can also see that 75% of the energy is lost, is not able to be converted into useful work in a gasoline engine. So why do we want to make Sankey diagrams? They're going to show us how energy flows through these simple or complex systems. And in that process, we're going to understand more about how much of the energy that goes in actually gets used and where all the other energy goes. What type of energy losses are we having? What sort of efficiencies are we getting? We need to keep in mind a few key principles in Sankey diagrams. The whole underpinning here is that energy is conserved. Whatever energy goes into a device, that same amount of energy has to come out. Now in that process, the energy itself can change form, but the amount has to remain the same. And by conserved here, we, means, we mean that amount is going to be constant, not changing. Again, the form can change. And how the Sankey diagram deals with this principle here is that it scales the width of the line to the amount of energy. So we, if we have a certain width of a line going into a device, the total width of the lines exiting that de device have to be equal to the width of the line coming in. A few other things that people do when they make Sankey diagrams, we distinguish between useful energy and wasted energy. Useful energy is energy that we're going to be able to use for the task for which the device was intended. For example, that gasoline engine, we wanted something to move, so we wanted kinetic energy, and that's our useful energy coming out of the device. The other energy, usually heat, is called wasted or lost energy. It's not truly lost, but we're not able to make use of it, and it could be considered wasted. Some people draw their diagrams a little differently. We're going to curve our wasted energies down to the bottom, and we're going to keep our useful energies going straight across the page. But again, some people might do that a little differently. I'm assuming that people are familiar with the various forms of energy. Here are six major types of energy. You might want to refer back to this slide if you're not sure what those are. We are now going to make a Sankey diagram of this simple system here. We have a light bulb, we have a solar panel, and we have a motor hooked up to a fan. You can see when we bring the light bulb close to the um, panel, generate some electricity, and that's going to drive our fan. This guy, not too impressed. This is why we're using a light bulb instead of the sun today. Here's a sketch of the system that we're going to be drawing our Sankey diagram for. We're going to have energy coming into the system, uh, striking the, uh, the panel. That's going to make some electricity, which is going to flow to the motor. The motor is going to convert that electricity into motion. And we're going to have some wasted energy along the way. We're going to see how that works in just a minute. Okay, so these are the, the two steps of our system here. We've got our solar cell. It gets, it, uh, the input energy for it is the light, the electromagnetic energy. I've done some research. It looks like the solar panel can convert about 15% of that energy into electricity. And the remaining 85% is what we call wasted energy. Some of it is thermal energy. Some of it is electromagnetic energy that is simply reflected off of the solar panel and not converted into electricity. And then we have the second step of our system here, the electric motor. Its input is the electricity produced by the solar panel. 
and it's able to convert 60% of that into motion. The remaining 40% is considered wasted energy. Most of it is thermal energy or heat, and a small percentage of it is sound. Okay, now we're going to start drawing our Sankey diagram. We've got a nice title. The first thing we're going to do is scale our diagram. We, we mentioned earlier that the width of the line is proportional to the amount of energy. And for our system, we're going to assume that we have 100 joules of energy coming in. And to scale this, then, I wanted to make this line represent, the width of this line represent 100 joules. So I let each of these small boxes on the graph paper represent 5 joules, so 20 boxes should represent 100 joules of input energy. The next thing I drew is just a simple box right here, the solar cell that represents where the energy transformation is going to occur. This box is not scaled. You can draw it different sizes. Some people don't include these boxes. I like to include them because they clearly show where the energy transformation is going to occur. We know that 15% of the energy coming into the solar cell leaves in the form of electrical energy. And remember our scaling. Each box represents 5 joules. I'm, I want this output energy, the useful energy, coming straight across. I want that line to be 3 boxes wide. Now I have to start to account for the wasted or lost energy. 50 joules of thermal energy, so I want this arrow to be about 10 boxes wide, and I want it to be curving away, representing the fact that it is wasted energy, not useful to us. Finally, I've got 35 joules of reflected electromagnetic energy, so I want this arrow to be 7 boxes wide, and it's also curving away. Okay, so we completed the first step, and now this electrical energy continues on to the electric motor, and we're going to have some further energy conversions that we're going to show uh, energy transformations happening in the electric motor. 60% of the electric energy is converted into kinetic energy, so 60% of 15 is 9 joules. Again, we have a scale here where each box represents 5 joules, so the thickness of this line represents 9 joules of energy, useful energy going straight across. Now I'm going to show the wasted or lost energies for, that are transformed in the electric motor, primarily heat, approximately 5 joules, and sound, approximately 1 joule. The thicknesses of those lines reflect the amounts of energies. I've done a little bit of rounding. We just saw that out of the 100 joules of energy that entered our system, 9 joules were converted into useful energy. So we might already know that we have an efficiency of approximately 9% there. 9 joules were useful out of 100 total input energy. Now, let's say you had a system that had 3 or 4 or maybe even 5 steps. You could still calculate efficiencies pretty easily, and this is how you would do it. You'd take your individual efficiencies of your steps, and you would convert each of those efficiencies into fractions. For instance, instead of 60%, you would say 0.60. And then you would multiply those fractional efficiencies together to get a number. And then you would convert that to a percent by multiplying by 100. So you could just string as many of these together as you need to get your final efficiency. In this case, we just had two steps. And it's documented here, we're going to get a final efficiency of 9%. So here's our final Sankey diagram with a few extra annotations related to efficiency on it. I hope you learned a couple things about Sankey diagrams. They are great tools for illustrating how energy flows through a system and for understanding out of all the energy we use, where does it all go. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Up with Hatters.